Good morning, everyone, and uh, yeah, real welcome to all of you this morning. There were quite a few people that actually had registered, so this group doesn't look that big, which is also fine. Um, my name is Rob Rainier. I'm the Regional Head for Financial Planning Consultants in the Eastern Cape, and I'm going to be talking to you this morning about the offering that we've got, uh, particularly now as your circumstances and your fund are changing. Uh, you're moving away from you know, your defined benefits fund, you're moving on to your provident fund, uh, as from the 1st of April, if I'm not mistaken. So let's have a look at what are the what are the tools and services that we actually provide, because it's critically important that as we've changed, um, or as you've changed the structure of your fund, that you take ownership and you actually create perhaps a far better relationship with your own personal fund, so that at the end of the day, when you do retire, it's it's not too much of a surprise. You've actually planned it well and uh, you're in a position to make some solid financial uh, decisions. So what we're going to look at today is sort of what is the problem statement? What are, you know, what are people battling with right now? Let's look at some of the um, responses that we've got from uh, some of the, re the research that we've done. Let's look at the tools, the electronic tools that we've got available to you that I really encourage you to use, and uh, as well as an in-personal um, service offering that, that we provide as well. So critically important, and I, I think one of the things that I'm trying to think of a way to perhaps just start this workshop and get it going is, if you remember, Stephen Covey, you a famous um, life coach and, and, and author, wrote a book, I think it was, if I remember correctly, Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. And uh, one of the things that he, that he spoke, one of the sort of, uh, one of the habits that he, that he speaks about is start with the end in mind. So our, you know, our sort of purpose in Alexander Forbes is to get you to uh, to retirement. Nikki, Derek, and the consultants from a, from an uh, institutional point of view have created the structure for you. Myself and my team are really talking to you as individuals. How can we engage with you, and how can we put you in a position where you actually uh, best placed to make some really good decisions as life takes you down this journey towards your retirement? So the the picture I want you to create for yourself today is. What does your retirement, what do you think your retirement should look like? What does it mean financially to you? What does it mean from a lifestyle point of view? And, you know, how can we actually engage with you and help you to actually get to that particular um, picture that you've created in your mind? Um, so really, as I say, the purpose of today is to talk, through, talk you through um, the supporting role that, that we want to play. We have been playing with you for the last 20 odd years, but just really, really focus on you know, the tools and services that we've got so that you are best placed at the end of the day to actually, as I say, make the correct decision, uh, make the correct retirement decision um, when, you know, when that number actually uh, does get to you. So what I mean by that is retirement, um, unlike, unlike death, um, you know exactly when it's going to happen. You retire at a particular age and um, you move from your current employer to really being self-employed at that particular point in time. So what does that actually look like? What does that mean to you? And how do you need to go about actually learning um, how to embrace this, um, these challenges that are going to face you and the decisions you're going to have to make um, once you hit uh, your retirement? So what's the problem? I refer to it as the problem statement. And you know, what is the current sort of ethnographic sort of scenario look like in South Africa? Now, unfortunately, I can tell you that, as you can see on the screen on the left hand side, 92% of South Africans are financially stressed, particularly at retirement. So that means about 6 to 8% of people can actually afford to retire, what we refer to as financially independent. Not have to worry about inflation, not have to worry about in, uh, investment risk. There's sufficient money coming into the pot every month to provide for your living expenses as we go along. So that's, that's a really, really high number. I've been in the industry for a couple of decades, and I can tell you that number hasn't changed much. You know, what does it say to about us as financial planners in, in, in the marketplace? Well, um, it's, inc it's an incredibly difficult task, and I think when we do engage, and you, you'll see the benefit that we can add, the, the most important thing I think it was Confucius that said, you know, he who knows but does not act uh, does not know. So, you know, we are here to help you put you in the know, but most importantly, you need to partner with, with us and, your, and yourself and ultimately to make the correct, 
financial decisions. I think one of the biggest sort of um, detractors from the retirement point of view is, is the net sort of uh, that 91% factor there. Um, people do not preserve their income. And what is that? Sorry, their capital, their retirement capital is such. So what does it actually mean? It means that if you're changing jobs six to seven times, which they say happens in, in South Africa during the course of a working, your working life, um, you're in a situation where every time that happens, particularly when you're younger, you know, when you're in your 20s, when you're early 30s, you're moving from one position to the next position, you're trying to find that, that particular role and, and job that you really love and you, you, you're passionate about, and you do change around folk tend to actually cash out. So they've made some retirement, they save some retirement money, and they move away from the employer, they cash it out. There's heavy tax penalties that happens at that point in time. You know, folks say, well, it doesn't really matter, I just need the cash right now. So it's critically important that, you know, the message that I'm giving to you today, and the message you need to be giving to colleagues and friends, is if you are moving on, that money that you're saving in your retirement fund is there for that specific purpose. It's there to actually provide for your retirement, and that's what it, that's what it's that's what it's meant to be, and you need to preserve it in that basis. Um, we also found a few years ago that what did happen um, is that you join an employer, uh, you'd have an onboarding session, and you'd get a rule book, particularly about your retirement fund, and the rule book would end up in a drawer somewhere, um, and you know no one really engages with it. Until it gets close to retirement, they haul the book out. Okay, now what does it actually mean again? How am I looking here? Well, I'm moving away. Can I cash out? Whatever. So it's critically important, no matter how young you are, how many years of service you've got with a particular employer, that you actually, uh, you do engage and you, you keep yourself up to date. Know where you are, because knowing where you are will help you to that end picture and understand what your retirement's going to look like um, down the track. So, um, you know, only a small portion. I mean, if we've spoken to, in our region, we've spoken to a few thousand people, but that's, you know, that's such a small sample of the total number of people that actually have funds. So what are the decisions, what are the sort of major factors that that are impacting people at the moment? I think it's most folk are financially stressed for varying reasons. Um, if you think about it, I can just think of a few right now. If you think about... Uh, the unemployment rate in South Africa really high at this particular point in time. You might be, uh, you know, somebody who's moving on in here, closing in towards retirement, still having an adult dependent child unemployed in your household. Um, parents are living longer. I take my parents, for example, I mean, they lived, you know, they retired at the age of 65. Uh, they lived until 80. Uh, they were not financially independent um, and they lived with, with me, you know. So, um, Again, that's another amount of money that uh, you need to cater for. Create stress in that environment. Um, I had four. I had four boys. Um, had to go to varsity. Had to be brought up. Had to travel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So all these things put pressure on your your monthly income, and it does create stress. There's no doubt about it. The, the important thing here is to try and, and I think the difficulty in society at the moment is that making the short-term tough decisions around saying no, and I'll talk a bit more about financial courage just now, uh, saying no, um, understanding the impact of making that decision or taking a particular decision at that point in time might severely impact your end game. So from a retirement point of view, making a short-term, as I said earlier on, cashing out as an example, is definitely going to impact your savings at retirement. And then most importantly, and I think this is um, one of the things that I've seen over the last couple of decades, solutions in retirement planning have become incredibly complex. So it's very difficult to actually understand when you get to retirement, what do you actually do? Because you're not converting your capital into income. Now, that's a very easy statement to say, well, OK, I know I need to get income. so. How do I go about doing that? And there's probably there's hundreds of different combinations that you could look at when it comes to actually purchasing income in retirement. And the the, the uh, you know the the biggest impact on that decision is the amount of capital that you actually have available to purchase an income that's going to sustain you 
well into your retirement. Think about this, probably 15, 20 years into your retirement. If your spouse is a lot younger, another 10 years on top of that. So you need to have sufficient capital at that particular point in order to uh, make, as I say, um, financially sound decisions when it comes to retirement. Let's listen to uh, an example of what I mean by having stresses. After accepting the offer, Right, I see there was a problem around the sound. Um, Nikki, if you, I know you uh, arranged in the right, background. The, yeah, yeah the, the sound is fine on my side. Um, and I have, there was another comment from a member that they can hear the sound. Um, and then there were further comments to just say, please unmute on your side if you want to hear. Okay. So I'm not sure it's, if it's an individual thing, um, but if you can do so now, because I know Rob has further clips later on in the presentation. All right, super. Thanks. Thanks very much, Nikki. Um, so that was just a, a little clip just to sort of break the monotony of my, monotony of my voice. Um, let, let's carry on, shall we? Sorry about that. So the, the important thing here, you know, what are we looking to achieve? And I, I think, you know, so, so importantly, uh, and so one of the things that we picked up, let's just let me just go back when we did the research, was that folk are not engaging with anybody during their lifetime. So while they are in a particular fund, no one's talking to them. As I mentioned earlier, on, you've got your fund rule book. You kind of understand what's going on, but don't really understand what's going on. And um, when we started to ask a few questions, to say, for example, you know, do you know what your fund balance is? If I ask you that question right now, I don't have to answer, but um, yes or no. Um, do you know what your contribution rate is to your retirement fund? Do you know what your contribution rate um, into your retirement fund together with the money that you've got in your fund? So the existing sort of capital you've got there, what is what is that going to look like when you actually get to retirement? And is that actually going to be enough uh, for you to retire financially independent? These are questions that you need to be asking yourself. Um, as I said early on, it's, it's an event that is going to happen, so you need to prepare adequately for it. So importantly, what we believe is if we put you in the right, if we put you in the right sort of structure, giving you the right information at the correct time, you will be better informed then to make decisions uh, in terms, again, in terms of your retirement planning. And in many instances, some of the workshops that we've done, talks to budgeting, how to buy a house, you know, your estate, there are many other topics that can be covered, which I'll, again, I'll speak about a little bit later, uh, that actually addresses these issues. So we believe that by giving you the correct um, tools and, and providing you with the correct services, you'll be in a better position to actually make these calls as you go along. All right. What are we looking to do? So when are the touch points? If you think about life in general, you know, I think the biggest sort of stress factors, factors in life is probably getting married, possibly, um, purchasing a house, family member passing away, getting divorced, 
um, kids at school, you want to give them the best possible education, uh, and we can carry on. If you look at the sort of stress factors and how they actually stack up from a uh, from a uh, from an impact point of view, you probably find them quite high on the table. If you look at what we're trying to do, for, again from a retirement perspective, we need to try and touch some of those bases there. So we believe the way to do that is when you join, it's important to engage with us and through the various formats that I'm going to talk about in a second. While you actually are employed, it is important just to check in from time to time. We've had a tremendous number of, of, of folk phoning us over the last couple of months, checking in, the changes have been made, what, you know, what call do I need to make, how do I need to make this call, I don't quite understand what's going on. It's sort of a stake in the ground for you to actually have a look at, uh, have a look and actually see how you're going to end up at the end of the day. Then most importantly, the last two levers, and we talk about resignation there, we talk about retrenchments. Um, the Eastern Cape has been hit with that over the last couple of years. Uh, and folk are, are in many instances made what we feel are the incorrect call. In uh, some of them who did engage with us and we gave them some perspective, they were in better position to make better financial decisions that would have less impact on them going forward. And then most importantly, you know, building up to retirement. If you haven't engaged, it's never too late uh, to do that. Uh, I would say to you that at the very latest, you should be talking to us at least five years before the mark. You know, so five years before your retirement date, you should be engaged with us. So that's where we are trying to um, engage with you, try and talk to you, and try and give you some input um, around those particular decisions. Now, what happened over the last couple of years was, uh, and particularly around COVID, it, it, you know, it's it, not everybody for a six, as you can well imagine. I mean, emotionally, um, financially, uh, businesses were, were battling. Um, many companies were taking a reduction in, in, in salaries. Lots of folk were retrenched, and not, notwithstanding the folk that passed away that were terribly ill for a long period of time. From our company perspective, we moved away from, as most companies, we moved away from the office to work from a home base. Prior to doing that, we were engaging sort of, you know, in a paper format around the boardroom table, engaging with you in your offices and having personal meet and greets. That was the way we did business, you know, in, uh, in, in 20, to prior to 2020. What we suddenly realized was that, you know, we needed to get get with it as far as technology was concerned. So we needed to up our game because if we're not allowed to see you or can't engage with you, how are we going to go about doing that? So we then embarked on a journey of electronic sort of, of electronic solutions. And, you know, through cell phones, a Teams talk as we're talking today, a few years ago, we would probably in, be in one of your lecture rooms and I'll be talking to you that way. Um, you know, through uh, uh, tools, gamification, many other ways of actually uh, engaging with you and making sure that, you, that you're in the game and, and we are actually touching base, critically important. The upside to that was that we were able to speak to so many more people than we were previously doing. Yeah, we were riding to roads, we were meeting with you, arriving back. Now you could have six to eight meetings a day, uh, constantly engaging with you. If somebody doesn't make a meeting, you can carry on working until you get to the next person. So it was a, a big mind shift for, for the business, a big mind shift for the way we do business as a, as a team, and um, definitely something that um, has benefited, benefited us as, we, as we've gone along. Right, so what did we do? We, we, as I said, we've, we created some electronic solutions. Some were already in play, which I'm going to talk about now, and then most importantly, looking at the people aspect. So. It, it, again, it's, it's important to understand that um, if you look at, our, at the way we engage, electronic solutions and recommendations and sort of input is one, is one way to address it, but it misses the human element. It, it doesn't have the understanding of looking at you and understanding what your personal set of circumstances are. It's just numbers, algorithms, and it's spitting out a particular answer to you. So most importantly, it's a combination between looking at uh, and understanding what's available to you and then taking that information and actually engaging with a real person to help you understand what you need to be doing. And so some of these examples that, that I've mentioned was, 
you know, uh, USSDs. Um, we have the Alexander Forbes app uh, that you can download on your iPhone or, or through uh, Play Store. And then the one that I like uh, is AF Online. Uh, and for those of you who haven't registered, uh, please, I encourage you to do that either on the app or, uh, you know, or on, on your computer. Critically important, lots of little tool sets in there that will definitely help you make, give you some insight to firstly where you are right now. You know, so how much money is actually lying in your account right now? And what does that look like if I predict it forward? What is the impact going to be on me uh, from a retirement point of view? Now, I know many of you will, will say to me, yes, Rob, but you know, I've battled to actually register and I completely acknowledge that. Uh, some folk have battled to register because it is, from a popular point of view, we need to make sure that we are dealing with you as an individual and, and not someone stealing your, uh, <laughs> your identity. Um, so please bear with us. Let us know, you know, through Nikki, uh, you know, through our contact center in, in the Eastern Cape, our team will get hold of you and we will actually talk you through it if you aren't able to register. But highly encourage you from an electronic point of view to, to ensure that you're doing that. Nikki? Sorry, Rob, I just want to highlight that you will only be able to register on our AF Online app um, once we receive your first contribution. And as you're joining the fund with effect from 1st of April 2022, your contribution is only due by the 7th of May. So once okay. your contribution has been received, the administrator will invest your contribution and load you as a new member. Only at that time will you be able to register for use of the online app. We closer to the time we will send you details of our AF online brochure again. We have presented to you before on it, but we will send you the registration details again and how to log on and register so that you are aware. But just to note, you'll only be able to register from about mid-May. Awesome. Thanks for that, Nikki. Thanks for that input. Okay, great. Um, I, I can tell you for somebody I'm closing in on retirement. So I, I think from my perspective, I use it a lot. I want to know what's going on. It's been interesting now from, uh, you know, from the, the world crisis we're sitting in from, you know, from in Ukraine and Russia, et cetera, where, how that's impacted my fund. Has it gone up? Has it gone down? Um, you know, you need to know these things. You need to know where you're invested and how that portfolio is actually doing. And maybe you, at some point in time, you want to move away from from a particular portfolio into another portfolio, which you're going to have options to do as you go forward. Again, important to engage and just understand what, you, what you're doing from that perspective. So as I said, there are tools. I think one of the, the, the critical things and, and, and really um, the challenge that we've got in South Africa at the moment is that we are, um, we are challenged from a courage point of view. It's very difficult and I used my example earlier on with my four boys, um, if it needed to be pizza on a Friday night, you can imagine four children plus all their mates, um, that's a big bull. Now, what do you say? Do you say no or do you say yes? Or do you think out the box a little bit, out the pizza box, and perhaps you know, downsize the number of pizzas that you buy or whatever the case might be. But you need to actually have those conversations and be able to be in, in a position where there is time that you need to say no. Uh, no, we can't do that. Um, I think one of the, the, the most interesting things that I found over, over the last while is you'd find married couples, the one, the one spouse, and I would say which spouse because it does vary, would be incredibly savings conscious but the partner would be a complete spender. So from a, you know, from a credit card point of view, the credit card would be racking up during the course of the month. One partner is actually, as I say, saving, diligent, keeping records of what's going on. The other party just, you know, just spend. So that's, that's really, you know, that creates, does that create in itself, creates stress. And a courageous conversation needs to happen there. Parties need to sit down and understand what the end goal is at the end of the day. From a retirement point of view, it's where I'm coming from, but it might be a holiday, it might be, uh, it could be anything, buying a car, sending kids to school, varsity, et cetera, et cetera. Are you in a position right now where you've, you know, you've got an emergency savings account? So if something happens to you on the way home today, um, is there money available for you to actually solve that immediate crisis? Uh, if I look at COVID last year and the impact of that, and I'll, I'll just give you another example. You know, we talk about wills 
and uh, this is not a world session, but I'll just give you an example. And folk often say to me, yes, you know, I know I need to do it. It's, it's important. I'll, I'll get it done at some particular point in time. Uh, the company that we engage with and we use, including our own fiduciary company, we can give you live proper examples where folk were well today in hospital tomorrow. You could not make contact with that person. They were you know, intubated or whatever the case might be and no will in place. In fact, the will might have been stale at that particular point in time because there's a divorce, there's a, you know, a, a new wife, uh, there's stepchildren, et cetera, et cetera. So just one simple example like that actually has re huge ramifications um, should that person not make it at the end of the day. And that's a session we can talk about. And, and you know, as we go along, Nikki, maybe it's something we can do um, for the team here, just talk about the impact of having this correctly structured estate. So courage is, is, is critically important. So what we are trying to do is trying to go beyond the sort of financial literacy and, and part of the programs we put together through our member education team, et cetera, through our wellbeing consultants is actually to help you to engage, to budget, to understand finances, to understand the stresses, and to help you actually make those tough decisions. Um, you know, if, you, if you're not doing that, you're always going to be under the cost. You've got to give, in many instances, because we are under financial pressure, you have to give something up in order to achieve something at the end, at the, end of the day. So as I said, from the first step is really looking at um, the electronic solutions that I mentioned now. The second one is really looking at financial courage and what we're trying to do for you as far as that is concerned. Okay, um, so we have again on on those portals we have what we call the My Money Matters um, toolkit, and that talks to when you start your job, when you leave your employer, and when you retire. So those points that I mentioned earlier on are, are, are very clearly and very succinctly giving you tangible information, factual information as to what is going to happen in those events. If you're not aware of it. Again, you could be making decisions that, uh, that they have a negative impact on you. So, for example, somebody who leaves the employer, been working there for a, a long period of time, they're under financial pressure, they leave, they say, I want to cash out, I don't want to preserve my money, I need my cash right now. You know, if it's, let's say, for example, 500,000, whatever the number is, you're going to be paying 70, 80, 90,000 rand in tax uh, before you actually receive your money. And we've had many instances where we've had folk come back to us, not to us particularly, but going back to HR to say, but you know, I thought I had 500, what is going on um, going forward? You know, where's the other money? Nobody actually got taxed on that. And had they known that, they might not have made that decision or might not have taken all the money at that particular point in time. So the toolkit actually looks at a number of, of, um, of aspects that I've just mentioned now, and I'll just run you through um, uh, just one of them as an example. Sorry, it looks like we're just loading at this stage. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, I'll come back to you in a second.
Right. Um, so just let me share with you again the, the important thing there. I didn't actually demonstrate what I wanted to do. Um, at the point of entry three, my money matters um, toolkit, you'll be able to extract some real data, factual data in brochure format, and that'll actually guide you then through your retirement. I think she was just making the point about staying, you know, the, the benefit of staying, um, staying invested over a while. Okay, um, I'm going to, before I push play here, I just want to give you another example around um, financial courage and just look at that from uh, another aspect that we're looking at, uh, another offering that we're putting on the table to actually through, help you through um, tough times and tough decisions. Let's just go back very quickly. So Nikki, before I commit, um, Empower, that is available on the portal, or is that a separate portal? Just let me know there. It, it is available on the portal, Rob. Okay, great. Okay, super. All right, just making sure. So again, what we're trying to, to get to at this particular point in time, so we've got know where you are right now in terms of electronic tools, AF Online, the app, et cetera, et cetera. Understand your journey that you're going to be on. And then let's look at, you know, as he's mentioned, your financial sort of stresses and now how can we help here as far as that is concerned? So we have in, in Alexander Forbes for our own, uh, our own business, we call it Degreed. We've put Empower, Empower out to our corporates to actually help you to engage. And it, it's actually, it's a fantastic program. You can talk to our bot, uh, our bot's called, our chatbot is Nova. You can ask some questions in that particular space. She'll come back to you, give you some responses. And if you have a particular need you know, around portfolios or you want to talk about investing, saving, et cetera, et cetera, it's a fantastic program to actually just upskill yourself as far as finance is, con is concerned. So another great way of actually bringing financial sort of literacy, if I can call it that, to everyone, uh, every member of our, our corporates. All right, this program, so lots, as I say, lots from a, a from an individual point of view, from an upskilling point of view. And I mentioned right in the beginning when I spoke about Stephen Covey and starting with the end in mind, you know, how do we actually make this journey personal and how do we help you to, to understand that this is your journey that you're on? And how do we demonstrate the actual reality of what your retirement is going to look like? So what we have created is what we call my retirement picture or MRP. Um, it's a little gamification um, program that you can access. And I'm going to let Shelley fund the best days and actually talk you through this.
Okay, hopefully you all heard that. Um, so let me explain a little bit more detail there than what Shelley did. So, you know, you can create your own personal sort of uh, um, little icon. You can change male, female, et cetera, ages. Add in your current status, what, you know, what your funds actually stand at right now. Look at your budget. That's often a testing one. And it then kicks out as you go along the various eight steps. It will then start kicking out what that looks like, you know, both from now, from, uh, from a current point of view, excuse me, and then also from a retirement perspective. In most cases, not to shock you, in many cases, you will find that you're going to be in deficit. Um, and that is where financial courage actually plays such an important role. You know, what are you prepared to sacrifice right now in order to secure a, a good financial position when you retire. And remember what I said to you right in the beginning, that retirement decision is going to have to last you for 15, 20, possibly 30 years. So, you know, whilst you're earning income, you're selling your skills into the varsity, they're paying you every month to bring those skills to the university. When you retire, you can't sell anything to anybody. You've got to make use of that capital in order to provide you with your own salary you're going forward, taking into consideration you know, um, inflation, investment risk, um, you know, where you're currently staying, what your budget looks like, how you'd like to receive your income, where is your income coming from. It, it really is, as I say, quite a complex situation. This helps just solidify where you are currently. It gives you a good position. And as Shelley said right at the end, the report that actually kicks off is a very good template to actually use when you do consult with us and we help you put it and guide you in terms of your, your, your investment choices going forward. Okay, um, so electronic stuff, I call it stuff. <laughs> our, um, our, our sort of literacy empower program in terms of helping you from a financial skill set, from a literacy point of view, helping you through some of those courageous discussions as far as your uh, you know, financial courage needs to, uh, needs to possibly improve at this point. Then in addition to that, we also have what we call a member education service. And our mem member educators are well qualified and well versed in many topics. So, um, you know, fund overviews, budgeting, wills, estates, um, understanding savings, you know, protection in terms of, you know, you might have properties, you might have bonds, et cetera, you know, a variety of topics. I mean, I think Nikki will tell you there's probably about 15 or 20 different topics that we can actually talk you through over a period of time. The unfortunate thing and the challenge to you um, going forward, and there's a lot happening right now as far as your fund is concerned, uh, but going forward over the next couple of years, you know, uh, when we do engage and you see a member education session being offered, please engage, you know, like you did today. Thank you for actually joining this, this, this meeting. It's important to understand what's happening. Likewise, when member educators come on site, you know, engage with them, learn more. The more you learn, the more it, it'll help you actually work through Empower because it gives you a bit of a base. The more better your understanding, the better versed you are to make, as I say, make those decisions as you go along. Okay, so that's the in-person or Teams talk, as we as we would call it, um, through member educators. We then have our retirement benefit counsellors. Many of you have engaged already with us, so thank you for doing that. Uh, we've got electronic versions where it's just telephonic inbound telephone call or paper version, et cetera. And then what we have, which your, um, which Rhodes has done, is actually signed up for enhanced benefit counselling. And that's a bit deeper than just factual information. That's a bit, you know, that will talk to portfolio return, that will talk to, um, as you are talking to us currently, what should I do, should I move, should I stay? Uh, you know, um, you know, I want to switch a portfolio going forward. That might not be relevant to you right now, but going forward, it's going to be really relevant to you. You need to understand where your money's going and what it's doing for you at the end of the exercise. And our enhanced benefit counseling program actually talks to that. Now, why us? You know, why Alexander Forbes and, and what are we bringing to the table other than these offerings? You know, who are you actually talking to? Now, I can tell you that <clears throat> if I look specifically at the Eastern Cape, we don't have to look nationally. We've got uh, 
one of my philosophies, if I can, if I can put it that way, when you're recruiting um, folk into the team as advisors, is to make sure that they can identify with who we are talking to. So many years ago, about 10 years ago, I, I um, recruited a, a number of youngsters. They were 26, 27, 28 years old, and they're still with me today, 12 years later. So it's critically important to, to ensure that whoever you're speaking to is well versed in your fund rules, as an example, is well versed as far as financial planning is concerned, and is advice led. And what do I mean by that? It's not a, um, I'm calling Rob Rainier, hi, I'm phoning from X company, you know, we've got, I'd like to come and see you, and suddenly there's a product that's actually been pushed uh, into your space, and you end up having a number of different investments or policies or whatever, you don't really understand what is going on there. Our philosophy and the way we approach uh, our members and when leaving uh, the, the university becoming an actual client of, of financial, our financial planning consultants team is ensuring that you, firstly you receive the correct advice, objective advice, that we find the most appropriate solution for you. So if you are in a situation where you are a member with 10, 15 years to go and you haven't saved enough money, what is the obvious answer? In many instances, it's simply doing an additional voluntary contribution to try and fund, to, to save more over time, probably the cheapest way of saving. Um, ensuring that your estate is properly secured, uh, ensuring that um, you are firstly correctly positioned, as I mentioned earlier, from a portfolio point of view, and you're not sitting as many clients are wanting to do right now, while the world, and I say the world in inverted commas, is burning, um, everybody wants to run to cash because cash is, you know, ostensibly the uh, the safest haven. Where right now, it's probably the best buying opportunity from an investment point of view going forward if you have a long-term view um, around your investment, which retirement planning is. Uh, that is why um, you should be dealing with us specifically, using my consultants, using our team, using the resources that I've mentioned to you earlier on, um, that we've made available to you to put you in the most in the best possible position from a retirement planning point of view. So in a snapshot uh, from us, the screen is very small. Uh, I've spoken about electronic enablement. I've spoken about digital tools. Um, I've explained to you around communications, how we how we do that, what learning portals we've got, both electronic through Empower, and then most importantly through our member educators, our retirement benefit counselling um, session sessions that we have, and I think the university signed up, I think, for at least two or three of those per month. So you can, in advance, you can actually book with us and ensure that you've, you know, you, you spend some quality time having a discussion and consultation with us. And, um, and I know Roy and Derek have, for a number of years, probably not last year, actually spoken to folks that are really close to retirement, just to, again, just to re-emphasize and reposition the choices that, that you need to make. Um, you should be making choices of how you're going to be receiving income at least five years before the mark. You need to know what that income looks like. So at least you've got a chance to uh, to recover if uh, you know if you haven't made a, uh, um, a sufficient um, uh, allocation towards your retirement savings. So I've spoken about a lot. Uh, I've taken about 45 minutes to do that. You know, I said to you in the beginning, I spoke about Stephen Covey and I spoke about um, start with the end in mind. And you know, from my perspective um, as the regional head for financial planning consultants, what am I trying to achieve in, in this region specifically? And I, I think, you know, our sort of, I wouldn't call a mission statement or vision. I think our desire, if I can call it that, is is really where we've got future South Africans, folks like yourselves, who've got years to retirement, might be one year, it might be 20 years. You've got time to retirement, that we're putting you in a position that you are financially aware of what you're doing. You're empowered to actually make good decisions and not make that knee-jerk decision. And you'll remember there was a, a Green Bank many years ago, um, their, um, uh, the actor that was, that was, sort of promoting the bank 
uh, Eugene was talking about needs and wants. I don't know if you can remember that, you know, and there was a leather jacket, you know, it was Eugene, do you need it or do you want it? You know, or do you need to want it sort of thing? So uh, having that, those discussions with, with your close one, with your loved one, helping them to understand where you're sitting. You know, if it's a, if it's not a good situation, be honest with each other and know that it's not a good situation because you've cashed out over the years. If it's good, help them feel confident and and help them to understand where they where they where they where they going as far as your retirement is concerned. It takes away that stress, and um, hopefully by doing that, by giving you the in digital en en enablement, by engaging with you, by training you, by giving you some input, you know you're in a position where you can engage with us objectively, and we can engage with you and help you. As I say, most importantly, make those, those really important decisions, particular, particularly around your retirement planning. Um, so hopefully you found that interesting and you, there were things that I've mentioned to you today that you thought I didn't know that actually existed. Uh, I need to engage. Uh, I'm encouraging you, as I said again in the beginning, I mentioned um, Confucius, who said, you know, he who knows but does not act does not know. So I'm encouraging you to act, you know, find the app, um, look for Empower, um, you know, engage with us, book a session with us, have a meeting uh, with us to start the journey, because uh, starting the journey is the first step to success, you know, just leaving it and saying, walking away from this workshop and saying, well, that was interesting, Rob, you know, yeah, you know when I've got time, I'll, I'll actually sit down. Believe me, time is, is goes so quickly and circumstances change so quickly as we saw over the last couple of years, that uh, you don't want to be in a situation where you, you know, you have the comment, you know, I should have, uh, but I didn't. So thank you for that. Thank you for uh, being here today. Uh, Nikki, I know that we've put the mics off. I'm not sure whether there are any questions. Happy to take a few. There is time. Thanks so much, Rob. There are no further questions in the chat. Um, does anybody want to post a question in the chat? You've got a minute or two to do so. And just a reminder that the recording of the session will be uploaded on the Rhodes University Information Restructuring site. Um, that is normally available within a week after the actual session. And just while we wait in case there are any further uh, questions, our next information session will be on Tuesday, the 22nd of March at 11 o'clock. Um, the, your HR division has sent an invite to you and the um, presentation will cover the default investment option or the default investment strategy under the Rhodes University Provident Fund as well as the individual member investment portfolios that you do have as an option under the Rhodes University Provident Fund. That session is for both members of the Rhodes University Pension Fund that are moving across to the Provident Fund with effect from 1st of April, as well as for existing members of the Provident Fund. So if you can join us, that will be a valuable information sharing session. Yeah, awesome, Nikki. Thank you for that. And uh, if there's no further questions, thank you for being here today and thank you for taking the time out. Um, we will post this. I will, I'm sure I'm happy to share the slides as well. I might not share the clips, so they're going to be a bit long, but I'll share the slides in, the, in a PDF format. and. Please engage with us. You know we've got a, a toll-free number. You can engage with us to at uh, consult with Alexander Forbes. Um, .co.za. Sorry, uh, consult with Alexander Forbes .com, um, at Alexander Forbes .com. Um, And uh, yeah, thank you for being here. I see some comments coming through. I appreciate that, and I look forward to engaging with you in the future. Thank you, everybody. Cheerio. Bye bye. Thank you, Rob. Bye bye, everyone.